Today, we're going to use a chicken with a magic wand in its mouth to defeat as many innocent frogs as we possibly can. And to begin, luckily we have a wand that fires twice. Two projectiles in a row, that means extra damage for the frog aside. And those two shots are more than enough to destroy these simple little frogs. On our level up, Pirate's Treasure, increased treasure chest to level 2. I don't really know what that means, but I'll take it. As long as I even feel like I'm making progress in some aspect of my life, I consider that a win. We're also going to need some more spells that aren't just uh, balls flying out of my wand soon, because we got a large horde of frogs behind us that are going to absolutely destroy us if they touch us. Our first upgrade was some extra movement speed, which is the only thing keeping us alive so far. It's very hard to stay away from the frog horde right now, and I'm trying to just stay on the edge so I can actually pick up some of the dropped experience. I think I'm going to take Salt Rain. I don't actually know how useful this is. I just think it's funny to rain salt on frogs and slowly watch them dissolve. The whole premise of this game is funny to begin with, but then melting from acid rain is even better. My health bar, by the way, is this little green. There's our salt. Melt those frogs. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that's way better. Okay. Electric Zone. Creates an electric aura around you that causes damage to the enemies inside. I like how they call it an electric aura. We're just electrocuting the wildlife at this point. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I like this. Now we can melt the frogs and electrocute them while shooting them with a the magic wand. We're also going to summon a boomerang that hits the nearest enemy every two seconds. Uh, that's going to be good because I routinely forget to shoot. I forget that I have to actually uh, do that myself. Acid Rain is insane. Uh, we suddenly went from like struggling to being overpowered. Although we're starting to get stronger frogs. And I definitely need to keep moving. Uh, we got some kind of upgrade over there. But if I stop moving, they bunch up around me and I will die very quickly. Out of all the things here, we'll take the interesting looking unicorn horn. Increase the damage of arcane shots by 50%. I'm not sure which ones are arcane shots. I don't know if we have them yet, but if we get them, even better. I think that arrow is actually pointing us towards a shadow enemy. I think it's like a mini boss. Uh, we'll kill that as soon as we can. Uh, maybe regenerating life would be good. 2% maximum life regen. Uh, as I was saying earlier, this is my health bar, the little green circle surrounding me that's not very full right now. My electrocution circle has so far uh, saved me quite a bit of damage. I'm going to try and get to that over there, but it's really hard to avoid the frogs. I found where we killed the shadow guy, as another shadow guy appears. Cross trail leaves behind a trail of ice that slows enemies. I think I'm actually really going to like that, because anything we can already upgrade it to. Uh, okay, yeah, that's probably actually going to be helpful because everything in this game is really, really quick. We upgraded our speed by a considerable amount. We're still barely outrunning everything. And it's really hard to just commit to a direction. Like, I want that treasure chest up there, but it's so hard to weep between everything. Increase the duration of salt rain by 30%. So we're slowly going to melt all the frogs for even longer. I want more upgrades for that. I think that's our single best thing. We're also going to collect all the treasure chests we can because I'm greedy and I think those lead to permanent upgrades. The red arrow leaves us past a shadow idiot to more upgrades. Okay, great. We're going to grab that. Increase the slowing effect on enemies of uh, frost step by 5%. So they'll get slowed by my uh, this and they're getting even slower. And another upgrade for our salt rain, your projectiles deal an additional 2 damage. Or maybe that's saying just 2 damage to every projectile we have, which would be perfectly fine. Oh, this is a really bad spot. I'm going to have to take some damage to get out of that. That was really ugly. But our salt rain is back. It's pouring it on. It's going to last longer and do more damage. There's so many upgrades on the ground already. Uh, we're going to increase our uh, life by 4%. That's not really a huge upgrade, but out of all those, it was the best. There might have been a reroll token there that I might have missed, so I need to pay attention to that. This is the kind of game that really makes you earn the progress. Increase movement speed by 40%. I think we're already at a 20% increase, so that's actually going to help a lot. This way we can uh, maneuver around through the frogs easier and pick up more of the orbs safely. Movement speed is really important at this stage of the game, it seems. Increase wand damage. Uh, what was this one? Cause 1000 damage to all enemies on screen every 100 seconds. All we got to do is last 100 seconds and we get to kill everything on screen. That's true, frog aside. Okay, this is crazy hard already. Five and a half minutes until we got destroyed, but we did make 8,000 coins. Which I accidentally just spent on a new wand, but I don't actually regret that. We also have Midas Wood that we can make the wand out of. There's all sorts of things you can insert into the wands you make to make them stronger. So, so far I've created the stupid stick and then I made the idiot stick. Now we're going to make something new with whatever this does. It's beautiful and will hopefully give me a lot better chance to do anything at all. The wand's name is Frogicide, just so we're not beating around the bush. So it's firing a triple shot, and those things go a long ways. Okay, we're getting much stronger already. And it's starting us with our beloved acid rain. Perfect. We're going to slowly melt the frogs while triple shotting them. Because I can fire three of these at once, I'm actually going to stick nice and close in a little circle here. We need those upgrades soon. Any experience left on the ground is not our friend. Yeah, I'm also going to summon one chick to cast a spell at the nearest enemy, so now we have a little helper. Hopefully they do a lot of damage. 
So far, they seem to be helping actually quite a bit. That extra projectile is doing a lot. And once the acid rain comes in, everything's gonna die. There was frogs bunched up on the rock, so I moved the screen over to accommodate them. I'm not gonna stop until every frog in this world is absolutely massacred. I didn't notice the coins on the ground either. Uh, drop one lightning on the nearest enemy. That I, I like how it so gently says we're dropping lightning on the enemy. We're not hitting a single frog with an enormous lightning bolt, we're just dropping a lightning on them. It makes it sound much nicer that way. Uh, there's some treasure chests on the ground, we'll definitely pick those up, because it's clearly going to get us better wands and better everythings. Still going to need a little more uh, fire rate and everything else, but so far so good. We're dropping all sorts of stuff on the ground, we're stay staying well ahead of the frogs so far. I think what would pair really well with our current devices of torture would be poisonous gas. Creates a gas cloud that deals 1 damage every 0.8 seconds. Uh, okay, so that's just gonna go around me. Yeah, that's actually gonna be big. So we got some good AoE style stuff coming in. Got lots of experience on the ground, but there's a red arrow down in the lower left, so I really probably need to go uh, explore that. Okay, we gotta keep moving though at the same time. We're gonna need movement speed, because without that we're just doomed. We're already getting hit by everything. And depending what's in upgrades like this too, these could really help us out. Increase the uh, duration of salt rain by 30%. Because salt rain's absolutely going to be one of our big weapons. Okay, we got him dead right away. There's our movement speed. Perfect. This is shaping up to be a good one. I'm also going to get Mushroom Exploder. Just because that sounds funny to say. It spawns one mushroom every 0.8 seconds, which explodes, dealing 12 damage to all the nearby idiots. So the few of them that are going to get hit by that are going to get real hurt by that. And then we'll start start to slowly uh, thin out the frogs. Look at all this stuff on the ground. This is just very satisfying. We're also starting to get the first of the big frogs. Uh, we seem to be able to destroy them fairly quick if we focus our damage on them. So that's a good sign. We got some giant mushrooms on the ground. Salt rain is going up even more damage for even longer. So we're shaping up to be very powerful so far. And we can definitely kite them into the damage. And then they're doomed. I do like the way we fire three shots in front of us that can take out a little frog so we can at least clear the way for ourselves somewhat. What's happening? I don't know what this is. Uh, it's very dark and it's super not helpful. Okay, great. Okay, we're also going to get Fire Dance. Summons one flame that launches towards uh, the nearest idiot every 2.5 seconds. Okay, good. We're back to the funnel vision. Just just what I wanted. Yep, this is totally survivable. Uh, I'm kind of just going to go in somewhat small circles to draw everything into my mushrooms and poison cloud right now just because I can't see what's coming. I don't really know how to deal with this or why this has happened to us. But they're all getting mushroomed. There we go. Okay, now we're actually really trapped too at the same time. So we're just going to uh, go this way. Uh, uh, salt rain every 6 seconds. 8 damage per second for 6 seconds for all enemies. We are really, really close to dying there. We're still really close to dying. I'm going to get greedy though and walk through this horde of stuff. We're going to try and take out the special boy here who's right in our uh, stuff. We're going to stay away from spots like that. Okay, we can try and get to that chest, but that's really dangerous. We are so low on health and in a really, really bad spot. Acid Rain came in, so I got brave and went up to this. Uh, we're going to increase the distance we can pull stuff in from. I almost walked into a giant frog. And we might be able to get it up uh, even more at this point. Uh, I'm going to try that Salt Shaker. I think that's going to increase Acid Rain. That might just be all projectiles in general. Not really sure, but anything is better than nothing. This is going to be a good one. It's even a yellow quality. It rains salt every 6 seconds, dealing 10 damage per second. That's actually crazy high. So now we're going to start melting everything. So if we could only just get some of our HP back, we kill that. Oh, whoa, I walked into a frog. That's so hard to survive. I don't get what we're supposed to do. Luckily, we can afford a new chicken at this point. He comes with all sorts of bonuses, but he also summons one chick every four levels. So using this new chicken, I've been getting Arcane Shot a lot, which normally starts with two projectiles firing out. Uh, strangely, we're getting that a lot, so I've just been selecting it, so we're really upgrading it. I'm going to add Salt Rain there to help thin out the idiots. But I think actually if I can get uh, that up a lot, one damage is also going up. But the, uh, this thing, Arcane Shot, goes off quite a lot, and that's actually going to clear out a lot of frogs for me. See, look at that. Fire 16 projectiles every 3 seconds. HP regeneration probably would have been wiser, but uh, that's a lot more fun. And those things keep going, too. But if we can manage to get that up a few levels, someone would orb that orbits around you. I'm actually going to try that, because that might absorb projectiles. It might also hit things. Yeah, okay, that goes circles around me at a bigger area, so that's going to help keep me safe. And hopefully projectiles eventually. We're going to take more movement speed. We're level uh, 10 now, so we got two small chicks helping us. Once we hit level 12, we'll get even more. Okay, we got the, the uh, Cone of Truth here, so we need to stay in the center for a sec until that goes away. Luckily, we're strong enough to destroy everything. I'm also going to get the Poisonous Gas Cloud because I know how strong that can be. There we go. Uh, fire 32 projectiles. So those are going to hit a lot. Uh, so I sh as long as I stop walking into the enemies, that's actually going to really do well for us. 
Especially if I can get something from this, it would synergize with that. Increase the damage of arcane shots by 50%. Okay, that's going to be a big one now. When those things go off, they're going to wreck. And we can get it again, 64 projectiles every 3 seconds. I think that's actually max level at this point. Uh, so as long as we could not get hit for 3 seconds, we should have a pretty clear path to go in almost any direction. Uh, we'll see for sure. Especially things that are close to us, they're going to take a lot of shots. Treasure chests are going to level 2, that just means more gold coins. Maybe that's a strategy I've been getting wrong the whole time. Maybe we just need really high level of one skill instead of a bunch of different skills. There's our regen that we need so we can start putting our HP back on while doing that. And Arcane whatever really works well because I really don't have to think. It just fires in all directions. So it's very hands off for me. Let's add a little more HP. Because we got damage okay for now for once. So if HP goes up then uh, regen goes up as well. So we're going to increase our health by a further 20%. So HP regen is going to be more per tick every second. Arcane shot isn't one-shotting the big guys if it hits them with a single one, but when multiple hit, which I often do, then it kills them. But I need to remember that. And we have three small chicks helping us at this point. And then we are going to increase the duration of acid rain by 30%. I'm not really sure what to upgrade, so I guess we'll just go for salt rain again. Maybe salt rain plus my helper chicks uh, plus my arcane whatever will just decimate everything, then we'll have it on easy street for a while. Here comes our next shadow idiot. Uh, okay, never mind, he's dead. Movement speed's going up. Perfect, this is shaping up. We're getting all the things we need. Maximum melt going up by a further 20%, so that means regen even stronger. Plus, we can tank a little bit more damage, so we can make even stupider plays. If we could get surrounded by orbs as well, I'd feel a lot better, but so far, we're actually keeping ourselves pretty safe. Like, there's lots of room around us. That's the five-minute mark. So I hear something colorful. Uh, we're gonna reroll those. Well, maybe increase our base attack speed by 20%. I assume that only refers to my wand. It's a little hard to say in this game, but that's just gonna help me clear a path faster. I found another uh, item upgrade thing, so that could be good for a few different things. I guess we'll just execute enemies with less than 3% health, but I figure if they have 3% health, they're pretty much already dead, so I'm not sure how helpful that's gonna be. Uh, increase chick attack speed by 20%. I don't know if those count as uh, those or not. They are in fact little chicks, so that might be the case. And that would be great, because we're only going to get more and more of them as we level up more. In fact, we'll even uh, summon more, so we'll start building those as well. So we'll have lots of little chicks with advanced attack speed. We're getting lots of treasure chests. There's that jingle sound again. I don't really know what that is. Uh, acid rain, nope. Uh, health going up wouldn't be bad. Yeah, we'll take another 20% HP. Now we're good and tanky. We're gonna need it for when the projectiles show up, then I can panic less and kill more. The idiots are starting to show up, so we're gonna get Acid Rain that's gonna do big damage to them, and that's gonna be good, because it can kill them from a long ways away, and uh, they'll die sooner than later. The faster they die, the less projectiles we deal with. Uh, these ones are all sort of the same, so Fire Dance can get more damage if we do get Fire Dance, which we might, it's better. Increase life by 4%. Yep, that's just more HP regen for me. The projectile things do seem to die pretty quickly, so when Arcane Shot goes out, it does tend to wreck a lot of them. And less projectiles means I'm much, much healthier. And I'll go to a $10,000 so I can really reroll things. Salt Rain. Every 6 seconds, 12 damage per second. So I'm going to try and get that maxed out next, maybe. There's max level. 14 damage per second for Salt Rain. So every time it shows up, it's really going to evaporate a lot of idiots. And that's just less projectiles, which means I can survive much, much easier. I was perhaps wrong, Salt Rain can go even stronger. Look at this card though, that's gotta be something real good. It doesn't actually say what it does. Like this one it says, this one it says, so this must be like an ultimate. Well, whatever, we'll take it. Oh, interesting. So we have different options for its ultimate ability. Enemies killed turn into statues that explode and hit other idiots. This one, the rain is 900% more damage, but its cooldown is reduced by uh, 200%. I kinda like this. Rain causes 300% more damage, lasts 40% longer, cooldown is reduced by 20%, and the ground explodes with the rainfalls. It's basically Armageddon. So I'm going to pick Armageddon. So when that rain goes off, uh, I think the whole map is going to wipe. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's a little easier. I can see again. We just wreck everything. I think little balls might refer to my uh, circular, so now we have three of those around us. So this is shaping up to be a good run. So what do we want to do that to next? The satellites, maybe? Summon two orbs that orbit around you. Yeah, had I known there was ultimate upgrades in the beginning, I might have just gone for that, because clearly those are way strong. Cooldown is uh, reduced, so it should be quicker than... Yep, there it is again already. And because we're getting rich, we can reroll a lot to hopefully get the ultimate upgrades for these. Health would also be interesting. But we will get the little orbs. Now we got five orbs circling us. 
We just killed another shadow guy, now we can have four orbs to circle us. The rain has showed up again, so everything's getting wrecked. Uh, we're gonna reroll looking for more... I'll actually take regen at this point, uh, just because we are getting hit and things are starting to hurt a lot. But with all of our HP too, that's actually a really good balance. Oh, arcane shot. Oh, I forgot that was maxed out. Yeah, we get another ultimate ability. So we have Furious Blast. 10 bursts of 32 shots are fired around you, each causing 24 damage. That's insane. Every 3 seconds, 64 shots are fired in a clockwise motion around you, each causing 24 damage. That's also insane. I'm kind of feeling for Furious Blast. 10 bursts of 32 shots. Okay, that's actually like in the game. <laughs> okay, this is gonna work well. Okay, the, between that and the Acid Rain, and soon to be whatever else we're doing, uh, this is gonna work uh, very well, to the point where the game's lagging and I can't really see anymore. We're filling the world with projectiles. We are getting hit a lot, so I'm actually going to take uh, more HP regeneration just to get a little bit of healing. Look at all the experience on the ground. But look at all the projectile morons as well. That's troubling. We did level up again, so we're re-rolling, looking for the kind of things that would help us get ahead. Maybe for a regen, actually, since we're getting so much of it, we'll start building that up, because the ultimate regen level's got to be something good, too. All the ultimate abilities seem crazy, crazy strong. Plus we have an army of little chickens. Ah, we're going to be at the top level for satellites, so we need one more level of that to get our ultimate satellite ability. I forgot we had those going on out there. They're definitely helping keep us safe, and they just wrecked the shadow guy. More HP. This game went from being incredibly hard in a struggle, to now we're destroying everything. Uh, we're going to get 12% of our max life every 5 seconds, so we should be able to heal through lots of damage. There are so many projectiles suddenly. I think if those hit me, they might actually kill me, so I do really need to be careful. Oh, that's tempting to go for more health, but I want to try and roll for the ultis. A few rolls later, satellites! Ultimate ability. Oh, dual satellites is what we're going to do. There'll be two rows of satellites. Damage increased by 100%. The size of satellites is increased, but that's okay. There'll be more of them. Mm, now we got those little spinny balls, and those are still going to hit anything getting anywhere close to me. I'm not even going to fire my main weapon anymore. I don't need to. Plus, I think the game doesn't love it. It already seems to be struggling just a little bit with what we got. Well, these are getting expensive, so we'll just increase our treasure chest to, uh, tier 3. That just means we'll get more coins for more rerolls or permanent upgrades. Either way, we're pretty happy. Yeah, we got our ultimate regen ability. Well, we get to pick from... Oh, wait, no, that's just max level. Okay, so next time we'll get our maximum regen. I got ahead of myself. At this point, I'll actually take more health. Just because we get that closer to its ultimate upgrade too. Look at that big green orb. We're definitely gonna touch that thing. That had to be a ton of experience. Okay, well, maximum health, uh, will be at 140%. There might be one more level of that, I'm not sure, but that's also getting very close to its ultimate too. We're also getting hit by a lot of things, but it really doesn't matter. We're just regenerating right on through. We're level 44. Look at all the little chicks we have helping us. We've got our top level, level health upgrade, so the next time that spawns, it will be its ultimate upgrade. And we obviously need the help, because we're clearly struggling to get through all this. Upgrades are already costing over $1,000, so we're going to get more of the mini chicks. They are doing a lot of damage. Oh, look at these. Uh, these are clearly rarer variety, so reduce the cooldown of Arcane Shot by 50%. That's this. So that's going to go off twice as often as it does. So pretty much constantly at this point. Great. I like how like, when I think I can't get any stronger, something comes up and then we get stronger. We're going to get more small chicks. We're just headed for more and more ulties. And we can pick up all those beautiful chests on the ground. I'm pretty sure I can tank through damage. I'm not going to push my luck too much in that though, because we don't want to find out the hard way. There is five chicks. Okay, better make that six. That's getting close to its max level as well, so we definitely got a lot of uh, ultimate upgrades coming up soon. We did get our ulti for the mini chicken at this point, so we're definitely going to take that. <laughs> so we can pick from puberty, chicks turn into a chicken, damage increased by 700%, attack speed by 300%, and shots penetrate up to two enemies. Elite chicks, chicks gain sunglasses, damage increased by 1000%, and shots infinitely pierce through enemies. That's actually crazy. And brood of chicks... Summons five more chicks, increase attack speed by 35%, damage by 300%. I'm definitely going to take elite chicks because a thousand percent damage and shots infinitely pierce. Uh, so I don't know what, like, we're so stupidly overpowered at this point. Uh, they're going to be firing non-stop and those shots are not going to stop for anything. They're just going to keep on going. Decrease the time to spawn relic chests by five seconds. Wait, are we picking both of those? We might have just picked both of those. I'm not really sure what happened. Either way, chests are going to spawn faster, which means more fast upgrades for us. Not that we're running into any shortage of those. It really, you know, keeps consistent with the upgrades. Well, we'll knock another 5 seconds off the spawn time for chests. Uh, you know what? You, we better get that one twice. Uh, we can take an extra little bit more HP. That's not going to hurt. Uh, experience, rather, because we're clearly not leveling up enough. Hey, look at that little thing. That was actually quite tough. We'll take some poisonous gas. It's free. Uh, we're also getting close to the extra chest spawning. 
I can't imagine what the ultimate upgrade there would be. Was that a tank? I think a tank spawned. It didn't last for very long because uh, we are like a super tank ourselves. It is a tank. Uh, upgrades are getting expensive again, so we'll just take more experience gain. That certainly can't hurt at this point. Well, we're past the 15 minute mark. Uh, whatever that thing was, was very strong. I'm glad they didn't touch me. That actually might have hurt a lot. Okay, we're now getting an extra 50% base experience along with our already double experience. So we might be getting 300 experience depending on how they stack. It feels like we might be given a rate we're leveling still. Like we're way into the game and we're absolutely leveling very fast. So let's add some more to that. And we're getting the big green orbs. Those are adding a lot of experience to us. Uh, chest party is also going to be a uh, max size, so lots of chests. That's ready for its ultimate upgrade, which should mean even more chests. So let's see if we can seek out. Well, also there's experience getting to a very high level. Mm, we'll take and we look at this guy. Oh, there's lots of them. I thought he was the king, but there's multiple of those. Big purple orbs. I feel like we're going to wreck these guys too. They can tank some of my orbs, which is uh, interesting. That just tells me we're going to need even more upgrades. And I'm here for that. This game will not stop handing out the upgrades. So we now get an 80% bonus to experience. Uh, and then our next one's going to be the ultimate. Our little chicks are going to destroy the king frogs. We're going to uh, reduce the cooldown or salt rain by 20%. That's a rare quality upgrade. But it's now going to rain apocalypse down much quicker. I'm starting to assume that some of these don't have ultimate abilities. That's why I can't find them even though I've been searching forever. So we'll just settle for pretty much anything at this point. Salt Shaker. Your projectiles deal even more damage. Yeah, we clearly needed more of that. Our experience is ridiculous at this point. Alright, we're going to add extra lightning because we need more lightning. Lightning probably hits very hard and that's good for the big guys because they definitely can eat some damage. Uh, we just lost half of our HP to something. We're putting it back very quickly, but uh, that was uh, eye-opening. So I probably don't want to touch the big frogs. Luckily, we can kill them very quickly. The tanks fire triple shot. Didn't notice that before. I got so strong, I sort of stopped paying attention to things. There's some cool upgrades here. The spelling on this increases the size of electricity zone by 10% and damage by 20. I don't know what that's referring to. The trick shot pierces through the first enemy and the attack damage is increased by 100%. They already have a thousand percent extra damage and infinite pierce, but that's the only upgrade there that could actually be of use to us. But now the shots actually look cool. Okay, magnets going up in level again, so we'll be able to suck stuff in from very, very far away. Not unlike your mom. And we'll just keep on going, picking up whatever chest we can get. Pirate chest level 8. We have over $100,000. I remember I thought it was rich and I had 5000 And the chests are just constantly spawning. This is actually kind of a dangerous spot to be. We're a little bit trapped, but I'm not that worried about it. Because we got our ultimate magnet. Oh, that didn't actually, doesn't actually tell you what it did. Uh, maybe I misread that and that wasn't the ultimate, but it felt like it was. Maybe it's just really big. We seem to have limited upgrades left, so we're going to get mushroom explosions. I think those are going to be the best bang for the buck at this point. Uh, that's a new thing. Don't know what that is. It's eating a ton of damage. And then it died. More Mushroom Exploder. Also high level lightning. Five lightning bolts on nearby enemies, which is mostly the King Frogs. We're going to melt the crown right into their head. Feel like we're getting close to the end, just based on the number of uh, giant idiots spawning and not much else. Ooh, ultimate lightning. Ultimate Zeus punishment. So divine protection. Powerful lightning bolt falls under you, protecting you and dealing 100 damage to all nearby enemies. That's very strong. 12 lightning bolts fall randomly, dealing 18 damage per bolt. Also strong. Eight lightning bolts. Strike 8 different enemies, dealing 60 each. I kind of like the protection one. 100 damage, it's going to strike me and spread out to everyone around me. Uh, simply because we are starting to take some hits and they are hurting. Also, our mushrooms are getting very strong. Uh, they're going to explode and deal 22 damage and they're going to spawn quite often. And not long after that, we're going to get an ultimate mushroom ability. Long story short, we're going to get grenade mushroom. They deal 30 damage and explosionaries increase by 2. So they just get bigger explosion. Nuclear mushrooms. These are the other options. You want to read them, go ahead and pause it. I'm not here to read. I'm here to destroy frogs. And we're doing a pretty good job of that so far. Um, I guess just Medusa at this point. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to pick up as many of these chests as we can. We have $200,000. We've also added a boomerang to our arsenal. We're leveling up so fast now it's almost annoying because we just can't get like any consistency done. There's a 20 minute mark. I was hoping for some kind of boss. We'll see if something turns up. So far, nothing except this guy has shown up. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be the boss or not. He's eating a lot of damage, but he did die. Uh, we got some cool rare upgrades out of a chest. I don't even know what these are. These are blue. All shots deal 5% damage. Yes. I just found the ultimate for frost steps. Uh, the ice trail deals 15 damage per second. Uh, the ice trail area increases bigger and that freezes for longer. Uh, this one, ooh, when I leave it ice trail, it leaves a path that if I walk on, I gain speed. I already hit max move speed, so we're just going to get painful ice. So anyone that walks on this is going to take damage per second. And uh, we're so quick that we're going to leave a lot of damage per second on the ground. 
I think I actually just killed myself walking into a giant frog because I was not at all taking that seriously anymore. Uh, I feel like I could have just kept going really for a long time anyway. So $354,000 is good enough for me.